If you're looking for a budget casual true wireless earbuds for daily usage in and out of the house, the AEAC FreePods Mini is an earphone style earbuds like the original Apple AirPods. There's one to consider right here, spotting a price of 30 USD, a price that many can afford, but the question is, how does it perform? The FreePod Mini comes in glossy white or pink color option. The glossy pebble charging case right here is very compact in size versus my hand right here and it's very thin profile so you can put it in skinny jeans and tight compartments, you're good to go. On the bottom right here is the Type-C charging port as well as the LED charging indicator right here. Opening the case requires two hand operation. There is some finger space to remove the earbuds. Now the earbuds right here is glossy as well, familiar fruit brand design. It's IPX4 water resistant, so you can use it for gym activities and clean it with a light soap water. Now each earbuds right here weighs 3 grams. Together with the charging case entirely, it weighs 35 grams. Now the package also comes included as follows. The short length type A to type C charging cable as well as a user manual. In the event you lose your manual in the future, you can come back to this video, play and pause this section to understand the controls in greater detail. Jumping into the microphone test right now, we are using the iPhone 13 Pro Max using the Moment app set at the highest bit depth and bit rate. So let's jump into the test. Testing 1, 2, 3. Pink coffee unicorn dancing on rainbow, she sells seashells on the seashore. This is how I sound like during calls and conversation using the microphone. So let me know what you think about microphone, but I'll let you know that Harry Bowls from Germany are amazing gummy bears. The original, the best. Let's go back into the main review. When it comes to charging from empty to full, the charging case takes around 2 hours whereas the earbuds right here take slightly above 1.5 hours to charge. Now at fully charged, it is rated to last up to 6 hours of playback with the case right here providing additional 18 hours for a total of 24 hours of playback. Our test is based on the iPhone 13 Pro Max at the 6 volume bar because it's earphone, we had to bump up the volume slightly. We got a total of 23 hours and 5 minutes. The earbuds uses Bluetooth 5.3 for connectivity with support for AAC as well as SBC codec backed with a 10mm dynamic driver. Our test is based on the Xiaomi 12 around the 9 volume bunk. Again, we have to listen at higher volume because it's a semi-open ear style or earphone style earbuds right here. The bass packs good amount of power, the bass vibrations and a little bit too fast for my liking due to the sappy open back. <laughs> Let me do that again. The earbud uses a Bluetooth 5 point. The earbuds right here uses Bluetooth 5.3 for connectivity with support for AAC as well as SBC codec backed with a 10mm dynamic driver. Our test is based on the Xiaomi 12 around the 9 volume mark. The bass packs good amount of power, the bass vibration ends a little bit too quick for my liking due to the semi open back nature or the earphone style right here. Now when it comes to the mids and vocals, it do sound clear with a warmer tone, it feels a little bit pushed back, slightly overpowered by the bass, audible level wise but still manageable. Now when it comes to the highs or the instrumental, it is the moody, warm sounding type. I feel it's a little bit distracted when both the bass and highs are played together. Earphone style like this earbuds right here has its own benefit because you are aware of your surrounding, you are better prepared to face any incoming traffic where you are crossing a street, you don't want to get hit by a car, or if you are in a park, jogging across a beautiful scenery, you don't want to hit by a bike ramping behind you because the bike just rang for you to move to the side. Now the downside is definitely the bass experience is slightly affected because you lose that sound ceiling that you typically found on in-ear bass earbuds. But again, this is good and for the price right here, it's a suitable for people who is trying earbuds for the first time seeing whether it's practical for them versus wired based earbuds or you can buy this in bulk for your company gifting, you know, gifting to your, all your nephews and nieces one shot without being biased who gets a better gift, you can give them all the similar gifts so you known to be the fair person. Battery life is decent, I wish they expand the case to be a little bit thicker so they can add more battery life, that would be amazing at 30 USD. I won't argue much, this is fine, I would say. Would I recommend it? Not for me particularly because I prefer in-ear earbuds but if you are looking for something like this kind of design or open style earbuds like this, this is something to consider. I'll leave 
links to purchase down below in the video description. Remember to like, subscribe and stay tuned to our channel for more earbuds review like this one. Till then, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.